My name's Brandon, I'm from Philadelphia. I'm Ravenscroft from the chat room. Uh, Ravenscroft, pretty much across the board in most chat rooms, CNET, Twit. Is this your first uh, Macworld? Yes. Flew out here for uh, for basically just for fun and then found out Macworld was here and hung out at the Twit Cottage, hung out at CNET, did a whole bunch of fun stuff. So, so how, how are you liking it? Did you like it? Um, for me personally, I'm not 100% a Mac guy. I'm not even 50% a Mac guy just yet because I can't afford a Mac. Don't worry, there will be Hackintoshes in my future. But the uh, big thing is, um, for me, it was kind of a convention. It looked more like an iPad case and iPad stand convention. So, how how long have you known Leo? Uh, known of Leo? Uh, or known of him? Good lord, that's probably been at least a decade, uh, back on the ZD, ZD TV days. So, oh wow, Very yeah. so seven plus years. I don't remember MSNBC as much because I'm too young. What makes Leo so interesting to you? Uh, just his personality, like he just seems like a really goofy guy and I like that, you know, a goofy guy talking about tech, you know. It's, He's, he's like good old Uncle Leo talking about you know the, the things you want to you want to see and want to hear. Now, if Leo uh, happens to hear this video, uh, what would you want to tell him? Don't snub me again in Detroit. What? Uh, what happened? No, I went gotta... to I went to Maker Fair in Detroit uh, when they went with the Live View, and it was the first time they were using Live View at the Maker Fairs. And uh, I went there. I reached my hand out to say hi to Leo, and he kind of went hey, uh, and then just walked away. So I, I, there's video on Justin TV of that. And I have a record of it in my email. So, but no, other than that, um, pretty much just keep, Leo, if you're listening, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, you're doing the right thing. Don't be afraid of making those crazy decisions like the new studio, hiring the right person. I mean, you're doing the right thing. 